Hey there everyone, welcome back again to Technoholic. In this video, we are diving into one such software which is not only free but also from Microsoft. Today we will talk about Microsoft PC Manager, a free utility designed to optimize Windows PC performance with just one click. This tool offers a suite of features to enhance system speed, manage storage and safeguard your computer. And in order to show you how you can utilize this and optimize your PC, let me take you to my computer screen so that we can see how we can download and install it. Okay, so here we go. Here, all we need to do is we need to type PC Manager and then let's hit enter. Now, this is the link that I was talking about. Let's click on it. And then here you will be directed to this pcmanager.microsoft.com page. And not to worry guys, I'm gonna also provide you the direct download link in the description of this video so that you can directly open this page and can download it from there. Now, let's simply click here on download. And now we simply need to open it. You can also download it from Microsoft Store, but I would say it is totally up to you. And here all we need to do is we need to simply click on download. Since I already have downloaded it, so that's why it is showing me open. So now I'm going to click on open to open the software and there we go. So this is how the whole interface look like. And before I actually start giving you a quick overview, let's also have a look on these screenshots. So this is first screenshot which talk about what this software do, which is safeguarding your PC in a quiet and reliable way. The second screenshot talk about the boosting, then um, managing storage, then health checkup, tool and mini toolbar and so on. So you see the features or the capability this free software come up with and that too from Microsoft where you obviously can rely because the OS is also built by it. Now going back to our screen and now I'm going to quickly open this Microsoft PC manager. Here the first option is one click boost. So if you click on it, you will see that your all temp file is now gone. You will see the memory users will decrease. However, since I used this boost feature a few minutes ago, that's why I do not see any change here in terms of memory usage. But believe me guys, whenever you will click on that boost button, it will definitely optimize the memory uses. Now the next feature that I would like to discuss here is this protection, which gives you all Windows 11 security related features at a one place. Let's start with virus and threat protection then uh, it will also make sure that you know you have got the latest windows update which is really nice and it can also check the latest windows update such that your system will work reliably then you can also change the default browser setting from here and here they also have got this option which says taskbar repair this i would say is especially useful when let's say you made a lot of changes in your taskbar and you would like to restore it back so you can utilize this feature then um, here we also have option to restore default app this particular feature is really useful in the scenario when let's say you are new to microsoft windows platform you might have by default selected any other app to open a particular format for instance let's say you want to open your pdf file with adobe pdf reader however let's say you set up a chrome browser as a default app opener so in that case this feature is really useful now from here one can also manage pop-up block for example uh, i have installed wps and in case of wps it come up with a lot of advertisement so by utilizing this i can block this up so that i can focus more on productivity now the next option here is storage which gives you option to perform deep system cleanup manage large file and utilize storage sense to automatically free up space so here using storage overview i can actually have a look at what is occupying my space and then probably it can also give me a quick overview what is exactly you know taking a lot of space and seems like here i have created video related to apple series 10 watch and not deleted yet so i can use it so with the help of this software i was able to realize i freed up 10 gb of space which is quite awesome then as i said we can also perform a deep cleanup which is really nice then apart from this the software also gives you to find and scan duplicate files such that you can delete the duplicate data then storage sense as we know is an excellent tool 
that automatically check for temp file and will delete for you and here you can further customize it for example um, if there is a file in your recycle bin it should be deleted in 14 days so that also can be defined with the help of storage sense and you can also manually run storage sense at any time which will delete or clean up your temp file as well as recycle bin the pc manager also comes with process management so if i click here on the apps here i can see how many apps are running right now in my system so if you think that you know certain apps that are of no use and still running you can kill them as well and you also have option here to define startup apps so let me click here and uh, let me find which app i think is of less use for me and should not get started by itself for example this vmware which i do not use quite often so i can disable it so in this way guys not only you can have a look at a number of processes running in your system but you can also define the startup apps you also have option to uninstall app directly from here then the last thing that i would like to talk with you about is toolbox so this toolbox offer different different kind of tools which are quite handy and windows pc manager also gives you flexibility or freedom to add your own tool by providing url for example let's say you use google a lot so you can put google.com here and then give a title here and then that can be directly accessed from this toolbox and in order to make this toolbox even more convenient you simply need to turn it on and now you will see that this toolbox is always enabled in your screen you can also keep it on side as i did here and then the toolbox will be hidden and as soon as again you will go toward the right hand side it will be back and you can actually dock it either the top left and right and then you can utilize any of these tools whenever it is required also let's say you do not like it you can always go to pc manager and then from here let's go to toolbox and can disable it that's all guys from my side in this video i hope that you find this video helpful and informational if so then please do like and subscribe to technoholic to see more such content related to productivity and i will catch you soon with one such another video till then you take care and bye bye